Hello and welcome. I want to show you today how to populate um, a flat file. So um, if you need to do something that is looking a little bit like this, yeah, it's called a variation. So this is like a family list and a parent child listing. So you want to like have your parent here and then you show up all these different variations, which could be different colors, could be different sizes, could be different quantities, all these kind of different things. Um, then you need a variation listing. And um, I'm highly convinced that if you reach, like let's say more than five variations, you don't want to have to do this manual anymore. You really want to make sure you know how to use flat files. If you do this the first time, it can be highly frustrating. I've been crying over flat files and I've had so many convers conversations with seller support. Unfortunately, they are totally useless when it comes to helping them. So I will try to make a little video on how, um, so you can find out how to um, do this yourself. So um, in order to start the whole process, you need to have um, like a flat file. So in my case, I'm going to go for greeting cards, which I just found here in my, so you go here and inventory at products via upload. That's where you upload your, your flat file, which is just an Excel file. You find your product by just typing in whatever you want to do. Mine is now greeting cards. And then down here, you want to go into advanced generate template and then it pops up and it looks like this. Super scary. So <laughs> don't need, you can um, ignore all the Chinese stuff. And this is the actual template we have to fill in. So we'll just um, do this in a second. Before you start creating any of this, you want to prepare your listing already. So what I always do, I, I use obviously a lot of tools um, to write a great listing. I believe I, I do most of the time. And I have here my nice title and I have my bullet points. I really like Oh, nice. I got my um, my product description because in this case there is no brand regi uh, registry. So we just need a nice uh, product description. It looks a bit funny here, but in the HTML, which I'm going to put in, it looks better. And uh, that's my thing. And then here I got my HTML text, which is going to go in the product description. And then I also have my search terms down here. So I have all this prepared already. Um, and I use a HTML editor just like this one. So HTML minus online.com. Really easy. So you just pop your text in here, whatever you want to do. And then you make it bold. And it will pop up here on the other side. You copy that and that will be your product description. Um, it will just look more, much more nice and neat. Um, if you just copy your normal text in your product description, it will only like be a paragraph, like a blog, and it's hard to read for your, for your customers. Um, so if actually somebody scrolls down and wants to have some information, you want to make sure that you, um, make it nice looking for them. And then you use the HTML. For your length of your title, you should go for something like 150 characters. Um, some categories have less, like just 80. Some allow you way more, like even up to 250. Depends a bit on kind of your product you want to list. Um, the easiest way to find out is to check on your, when you go into add product, it will say on a little question mark, it will tell you how many characters you can type in there. And um, I use just a general bit counter for that. Um, and type all my, this for my search terms, where, where I know it's 250 bits. And, um, I use the same one for my title. So once you have all this ready, you can start with your flat file. I'm just gonna go through here at the moment. I, in, in the front where it says example, it's everything is explained um, actually quite well. So if you need help with your with your child, um, then you just can go here. I think it's example two. Yeah, one parent with two children. And obviously, when you have three children, when you have five children, ten children, it doesn't matter. It's always the same process. And what you have to put in, um, how, just, you know, the, the things you have here will be the same as in your actual template, the same color code. So you can always just go back and forth. Here you have um, the valid value. Sometimes it will say, oh, what can I put in there? What, what does it even want from me? Um, here you have some more explanation what is expected from you and this is the actual template. 
So the first thing we have to do is type in the, the product type. And again, here it has a little drop down and mine is all paper products. Um, in my case now, I think I have so many different variations. I have like, how many do I call it? 24. 24 different variations. And that's why I'm using a flat file. So I'm just going to copy this and pull this down here. 24 pounds. Uh, maybe that's a bit, that's not enough, I don't think. Let's have a look. Then the SKU. For the SKU, I'm using a free tool. It's called um, the free SKU generator, and it just helps me that all my SKUs look the same. So I'm just going to pop in a name here, the attribute, another attribute, which can be like, let's say if it's a water bottle, then you would say um, water bottle, then you maybe have it 500 ml. You have it um, blue, and maybe you have it with spot. And if you click here on it, it will pop up here at the bottom. And that's your SKU. And you can generate this yourself. And the way you want to do this is just you want to easily be able to see in your inventory what are you talking about. I've already downloaded this list for my for my card, so it looks like that. So I have to add an, a parent. That's very important. And then I just take all these, copy, put them in here, and I'll add two to me. So, and the first one is like really important the parent because the parent is kind of where all your children hang on, right? It's like, like me as a mom, my kids hang on my arms, and that's the same how your listing works. So, I'm not really important, it's all about the kids. Um, but you need the parent so the other ones have like kind of a family where they where they belong to. That's kind of how it works. Then you have your brand name and my name. In this case, I chose generic because we went just um, the generic and the, the GTN exemption. So all of them actually. Generic product ID. I don't need that because I applied for a GTN exemption. So I can just go here. So Amazon will argue me um, a, a GTIN. And then I now have my title, which will go into every single one of these product names. So it's a lot of copy and pasting, but at least I only have to copy and paste things. So I'm going to put this in there. For some reason, it never lets me copy it straight away in all of these. So I'm just going to go like that. It's all pretty much the same. The manufacturer as um, my client part number you don't need to fill this in you can pretty much give it any number you can use the same or if you actually do have an electronic tool you generally have a part number on there then here you have the category type in my case it's greeting cards and you pop that down there a price i'm going to sell it for 12.99 so put that in mm. And I'm going to put zero into all of these quantities for the simple fact that I don't have any inventory and I don't want them to go live um, when I upload them. The main image, you have to put a URL in. So um, I'm a bit lucky. My client already has them all in on the website. So I'm just going to go onto the website and then click on right click on any image. So I'm going to show you this. Yeah. Let's say you type in greeting cards. The Google, or if you already like have your cards, let's say you have your images uploaded on Photo Bucket, um, then you can use that or on Pinterest or whatever tool you use. Then you can go just the right click. That oh, doesn't work on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these ones. And here on right click, you can see copy image address, and that would be. In this case, it's wrong, but if you just pop, put it in there, that's how it looks. It's just a normal URL. So make sure you upload them to, like I said, Photo Bucket or uh, wherever you want to. A lot of people already have a website. If you don't, it will not let you upload this flat file and when you get a lot of errors. So you do that for all your images, the more the merrier. Um, try to fill in as much as you can. And now this is a really, really important part. This is where we actually... Um, 
tell our flat file that what what kind of variation we have so you can see the first one here our first product was the parent remember so we gotta copy that um, parent skew so that's the parent because it says parent there and it really does help if you do it like this and then you have the parent child variation so the first one is the parent and all the other ones are the children and for the children you have to tell them who is the parent so for my my kids i they would say okay well my mom is my mom so that's the same here and you just gotta pop in that eyes out now it doesn't work and put this in there and that's the same for all of them and they're all children to that one parent ah oh, what did i do Okay. What's the relationship? The relationship in this case is a variation, means in our case it's actually um, a different theme. So we have greeting cards, some are, um, you know, like they're all different um, kind of greeting cards, so the theme is different. But let's say if you would have um, a phone and then sell accessories, then obviously it would be accessories. Or if you have different dog toys and things like that, but ours is in our case that's a variation. Or let's say you have a candle holder with a candle that sells the set, but then you're just turning into um, a, people can just order the candle. What's the variation theme? If you don't know what that means, you can always find out here what that is. Uh, by finding the same color code up top. Sorry, that looks. Hope you don't get any problems here. <clears throat> Why is it? Why is it? Can't find that. <laughs> so the variation theme it tells you a lot of different things. So obviously, it could be the size. Like if you have clothing, it could be the size. It could be the color. If you have like something simple, like I don't know, um, kitchen utensil, then it could be blue, red, green, whatever. Then you also have color size. So that's let's say you have jeans and you sell them in black and blue. Then you have all these different sizes, obviously in combination with color. So that would be two different ones. Um, paper size is the same. Um, it's different and, and we in our case now we use star name but you can also have a size name and a color name so if you let's say you have um, size 8 um, is one name and then you also have them in black but we have star name because we use a different style I just pull this down here and this is also a very important one it looks so basic but you when we're just creating this we have to go and update so this will update the whole, or actually the top one as well, will update the whole listing because it's not there. If you later on just make changes, so that's why this flat file is so awesome. It takes you a little while to actually start creating it. But once you have created it, you can make all your changes in here over and over again. That's why I recommend to actually change the title up there and always leave it in some spot. Um, so you can like upload new images, change the keywords, change the description, anything. And if that's the case, you just go on to partial update. If you're going to, um, and you can always uh, also obviously delete children. Then you have the product description. And like I said, I already have this part just prepared. And that's where I populate my, use my HTML to populate that. Doesn't need to go into the parent. The parent is not sellable. That's why I all leave this all free empty. Oh, that didn't work. If you get that error, you just gotta go and click in the back. In fact, now we got all this. And um, here, you see, I left it all empty. The 
the parent doesn't need anything. The parent is not sellable. The parent will only be like a placeholder, literally just to be there for the surname of the family, kind of. Um, so don't don't worry about that. And then we fill in all these information here as well, like all our bullet points, everything we want to put in. And another important one is the style name. So here I actually need to use the same ones that I put in my um, put in my SKUs. So it would be these ones here. That's the ones I have to use there. I really hope this works now. Our name. Ah, uh, this is probably not going to work. I think I need to go like that. Let's check that. No. Hmm. I just go for the first one. That won't help me because I definitely need to make sure. But now we have this, but I need to. I know I need to add the colors as well because otherwise it will just look in your in your listing for people to look at. It would just literally just look like um they're all big bands, but they're not just big bands. There's a red big band and an orange big band, and you want to have the color so people can choose from that. So that's what you have to add. I need that text a bit longer, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then you can add all this information, like your di uh, dimensions, your shipping weight, pretty much everything you need. The ones that I just added are the ones you kind of have to put in to actually be able to upload it. But you could be, I would be able to like choose the fulfillment manage, um, measurement, which is important for your shipping plan. And then here at the end, you can ignore a lot of things, by the way. You will see, look, here it says additional chemical. That's just because uh, we chose um, a flat file from the office category where there could be also obviously um, ink and stuff. So they need to know all these information. And here you can use a, sh a shipping template, migrate it if you're shipping yourself, but we're not going to do that. Do we offer gift wrapping? Yes, no. You can change that later. And then you change your package quantity, how many are in one pack. We have just one. Do you offer a sale price so you can have all these things in there, which is nice and simple. And once you've done it, you have to save it. I'm not going to do that now because I still need to add some things which I just realized. But if you upload this up here, you would set it up here. And I always recommend to check your files first. So let's say you can choose any file, any of these files, upload, check. And what will come back is um, a flat file where it will say if you've done any mistakes, and then you can correct them. And if they, if you have removed all the errors, which you, you shouldn't have any errors if you, do it, if you did it like I showed you. But in case you do, sometimes it's just minor ones like the image is not correct or you forgot to fill in something or you filled information in for the parent. If you fill in from information for the parent, Amazon starts thinking, oh, maybe it's a real product and there's a mistake. Then um, you just have to correct that. And once it's all finished with no errors, no warning, then you will upload it here, upload, and 15 minutes later it's in your inventory and hopefully looks like something like that. So and I have chose here one which is wrong. I'm just going to go into close this text for the simple fact it's not, I don't want it to be online um, because we don't want to have merchant fulfilled. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to write me a message. Um, that would be great if you could do that. And um, I'm really, really excited to hear what you're going to think about. What did you think about this video? And um, if you were successful, <laughs> I know it's a bit complicated at the start. Just watch it over and over again. Amazon also has a video on that on the Seller University. Obviously, like it's not um, the best video, but it helps you. Um, and it's just literally the more practice you have, the better you're going to get. So looking forward to hear from you. Talk soon.